Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can do some sorting using drag and drop. All right, so I have here a Next.js application, uh, basically blank right here. Uh, we can check out the files. We're just doing everything in this page.tsx right here. And then I've just removed uh, some of this. We're using uh, Tailwind for some of these stylings, as you can see here. And if we flip on over to our uh, browser right here, you can see we just have uh, this list and nothing else right now. So let's show you how we can do some sorting using uh, drag and drop right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need some state for this. So let's come up here and because this is a uh, Next.js application, uh, we're gonna have to say uh, use client right here because we wanna use use state. Then below that, we're just gonna import a couple things. So we're just gonna be using use ref and use state and importing them from uh, React like that. Now, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create this state. So basically, I'm just gonna have a list of people. You can use whatever data you want for here, uh, but I'll just add that here. All right, so we are just using some state, bringing that in, and we are saying people and set people. And this is going to be an array, and we're gonna have uh, four objects right here uh, with IDs, name, and then the content. Uh, this is this doesn't matter. You can use any data you want for this, but uh, if you're following along, maybe uh, have the ID uh, along with that. All right, so that is good. Now the next thing we want to do is actually uh, maybe list out these different things so we can see it on the screen. Uh, this list of items right here. So let's come in and do that. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll come down uh, below here and we'll loop over these people and just display this list on a screen. So let's come in, we'll open up some braces here and we'll just say people like this and we'll say dot map. And then inside here, we're gonna have a uh, person. And then we're also gonna need the index of uh, that person. This is gonna be for sorting purposes. And then we can come in here and we'll add a div and then inside that div, we'll add a uh, p tag there. And we'll just pass in that person.name, just like that. So we can go ahead and uh, save that and then check that out. So here, you can see here, I'll bump this up a little bit. Uh, we just have our list of people right there. That is good. Uh, let's add a little bit of styling just using Tailwind just to make this look a little bit better. So on this div, I'm just going to add a class name like this. And we'll just add a few styles on here. All right, and then we can check out what that looks like. All right, so we just have this gray uh, border here, uh, background and a little bit of a border. Uh, and you can see right now we can't do anything. We can't drag, we can't do anything. So that will be our next step. So let's uh, add that into this. All right, so in order to make something actually draggable, uh, the first thing you have to do is actually add that. Let's give ourselves a little room here. And we'll say draggable like this. And if we go ahead and save that and actually just check that out really quick, uh, you can see that now these are actually able to be moved like this. Uh, you get this little effect right here. Now, obviously, they aren't reordering or anything because we haven't set that up, but it is uh, possible now with that draggable label. And I'm just going to close down this terminal to give us a little more room in here. All right, so let's come in here. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to say uh, on drag start here. And you can see when we start typing there, we get all these different things here. So we are going to do on drag uh, start for our first one. So we can go like this. And inside of here, we're just going to create an inline function right here. We can do a separate function and write that out, but we can just do this also in line like this. So we'll do that for here. So in here, we're going to create a ref in a second called a uh, drag person, which will be the person being dragged. So we'll say drag person like this. Now we haven't created this yet, so that won't be there. Uh, and then we'll say dot current like this. And then that is going to be equal to the index. And that's why we need this index to keep track of the order. So on the drag start, we're going to say uh, this drag person that we're going to create in a minute as a ref is equal to the index. Okay, so that's gonna be our drag start. So let's actually create this really quick. So we can come down uh, below here. And right below here, we can just say const and we can say uh, drag person. And that'll be equal to use ref. 
like that, which we already have brought in. And just for TypeScript, we're gonna say this is gonna be a uh, number like this. Cause this is just gonna be the index. And we can just start that at zero. And then we can say const, and this is gonna be the uh, dragged over person. So this is the person we're sw swapping basically with. And that will be equal to use ref again. And again, that will be a number. And again, we can start at zero. Okay, so now we have this drag person and this person that they are dragging over on top of that we wanna uh, swap them with. So on drag start, we're gonna do this. Then we can come down below that and we can say on drag enter, just like this. And that is going to be another inline function like here. And this time we're gonna say the dragged uh, over person and dot current. Cause you need that with uh, the ref there. And that is gonna be equal to the index. Then we're gonna come in down here and we're gonna say on drag end. So this is where the drag is actually ending. And that we're actually gonna go and create a function. So this is gonna be our sorting function. So we'll just say uh, handle sort for now. And we'll create that in one second. Uh, and then finally, we're just gonna say uh, on drag over. And you actually don't need this functionality wise, but uh, I'll show you in a sec what that looks like. So we're just gonna say uh, E for event there, and we'll just say E dot prevent default like that, and save that. All right, so we have to go ahead and create this handle sort. So let's come up here, and we'll just say function handle sort. All right, so let's show you how we're gonna actually uh, sort this here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cr uh, clone the initial people. So let's say const, cause then we're gonna be able to work with it. So we'll say people clone like this. And in order to clone this, we can just spread in uh, the current people array. So we can just say dot, dot, dot uh, people and that will clone uh, that array that we have already. So now um, we're gonna do a uh, temporary variable. Now there's another way you could do this with uh, splice uh, and splicing the two things, but this is just uh, one of the ways we can do it here. So we'll stick with that. So we'll say const and we're just gonna create a temp variable here. And that's gonna be the uh, people clone right there. And that is gonna be at, so a specific index here. So we're gonna say uh, drag person dot current. So the temp variable is going to be uh, this people clone array, which is basically just people right now at this specific index here, which is gonna be uh, the current index of uh, drag person. So that's our temp. And then we're gonna go uh, people clone. And we're gonna say drag person.current. And we're gonna set that equal to the people clone at the drag uh, over person dot current. So here we're actually uh, swapping these two. Then we can say people clone dragged over person dot current. And we're gonna set that equal to temp. So that's gonna be uh, set equal to our temporary variable that we created right up there. So these two lines are what's actually gonna do the swap for us there. So now we can come in and set people like this. And we wanna set it to this uh, people clone that we just created here. All right, so we can go ahead and save that and that should handle our uh, sort for us. All right, so now we have our uh, list right here, like we saw, uh, if we want to drag uh, John Doe when Tom Johnson there, you can see that that swaps it for us. So come in Adam Smith for John Doe, we can swap that Tom Johnson for Max Walters. We swap these two different people here. Now, of course, this is doing a swap for us. So if you wanted to sort the list uh, in some other way where it just uh, bumps the next person up or down, you could also do that. There's one way you can just do a uh, drag and drop in vanilla JS and kind of sort a different list like this. All right, well, that is it for uh, me. The code will be in the description. If you like the video, give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. And until the next one, thanks for watching.